Good morning, dear colleagues. I'm glad to see all of you here, and I would like to welcome you here. Thank you for finding the time to visit our session. It is a very relevant one. This area is uh, developing quite actively, and uh, we tried to gather all the information that uh, could be interesting for all the participants. Digital pathology is uh, the future and even is the present. And uh, the first part of um, our session will be dedicated to this topic. And today we will touch upon uh, cytology issues, uh, new methods in this medical area, and also the relevant changes in urology in the light of uh, the new classification that was issued by WHO. I would like to welcome you and I wish you fruitful work ahead. I would like to add that uh, this is a demo today. So please be attentive to what our speakers will tell you and uh, please honor them because uh, that is the first time we are presenting this topic and we are hoping that uh, you will be quite uh, loyal and quite kind to our speeches. And the first um, part is um, given to uh, Ms. Bashlik. She will tell us about digital mi microscopy concept, what it is all about. Good afternoon. Good morning, dear colleagues. Thank you for uh, coming to our forum. And our section will be quite informative for you. So I will be talking about the principles of digital microscopy and bright field microscopy in particular. So that is the newest area of uh, digital microscopy. And the digital microscopy, it is based on transferring the image into the digital copy. By the end of the 20th century, the optic microscopies have uh, been developed to the fullest extent. And then digital micros microscopes uh, started to develop. Uh, so the image is completely digitalized and brought up into the memory of the computer uh, and the basic uh, difference is uh, the absence of an ocular uh, instead of it we have a digital camera and it does not provide any distortions so it improves the color image and you get the digital image and you can process it after afterwards and uh, it enables you to store all uh, the data on your hard disk and the next stage uh, is the um, uh, scanning image of uh, microscopes and um, it gives you an opportunity to receive uh, the cytological image with the high resolution. It can be a linear scanning, pixel scanning and panoramic scanning. Linear and pixel scanning is, are based on step-by-step um, -step, uh, lining and uh, uh, forming the unified slide in PDF format. So you need a large-scale operating memory to work with such kind of image, to zoom it and to process it. Um, the image of um, Optical uh, microscope is enlarged 40 times. Just some examples of uh, linear and scanning microscopes are the following ones. So the Leica scanning microscope, in particular SCN400, also a period family and uh, the other ones and they are quite costly so they are not manufactured now and uh, they cannot do the panoramic formation of the slide uh, they have their own advantages and disadvantages. The advantages of linear scanning is the high speed of scanning, also the formation of a unified single file, and also um, rather, uh, rather small sizes. And disadvantages uh, is um, disability to perform uh, the panoramic scanning and also low resolution. So they can be used for remote counseling and for 
archive formation. And as for panoramic scanning, uh, for example, uh, panoramic and uh, 3D histac, the principle of uh, such scanning microscope is based on step-by-step -step focusing of image, of um, a histological image, at different types of its depth, which allows us to form a file for each section of the slide, for each part, and uh, it allows to increase it up to 4,000 times the image of it. When creating a digital copy, uh, you create a copy uh, that consists of 180, 200 uh, different uh, types of files. Also, on the computer has an icon which gives an access to the file due to technical difficulties. I am not able to show you the video, how it looks like, but I can tell you that uh, when you upload the histological um, medicine into the slide you scan it at different types of depth so it creates a preview and then it scans at different levels of depths and then it creates a huge file for which uh, you need a large scale of memory at your computer scanning microscope as well as linear ones uh, have their own advantages and disadvantages uh, so a uh, large scale of um, glasses that can be scanned and also different levels of scanning. Uh, also the possibility to perform a qualitative and quantitative assessment thanks to the uh, programs that have been developed. But there are also disadvantages, uh, a large scale of files, large volume of files, the minimum one for one medicine, it is 3.5 uh, gigabytes, so you need a huge memory for this purpose. We can draw the conclusion that scanning microscope can be used for the analysis of images and not for remote counseling. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot um, show you the zooming and how, uh, how fast we can zoom it in. For example, uh, all of us uh, use uh, such simplifying programs like Google Maps, that is a map that we can turn on and we can zoom in any point on this map and uh, we can uh, also analyze the image of histological uh, slide to very fast zooming in. Why is it so fast when uh, this slide is being formed for each part and each section? Uh, we have uh, its own file, so uh, the computer does not have to work with uh, the huge massive information. It finds what it needs quite quickly and in conclusion I would like to say that histological archive of each laboratory uh, is uh, quite huge in terms of uh, square meters and digital copies of such material uh, help us to uh, diminish the necessity of having this volume and uh, it um, helps you in terms of um, achieving your scientific material goals so each laboratory should have IT department for these purposes and thank you very much for your attention. Dear colleagues, dear friends, if there are any questions, please ask them. And if uh, there are no questions, then we will proceed with the first part. Yes, you are welcome, but the microphone is not on, so the interpreter cannot hear the question. So the microphone is unfortunately not on. Well, I would like to comment on that, on your question. 
Oh, well, it is a very deep and specialized question. Well, cloud technologies, uh, the technologies uh, that will determine the future. And what is happening right now, it is developing quite uh, fast. And I come forward, uh, this is our future, of course. But um, as the digitalization of uh, a histological uh, microslide is a specific technology, it is not compatible with MRI technology and with the databases. So it's a very different area. It is a very complicated one. And to perform the analysis, not only capturing the images, but also the analysis of such pictures and images, the very um, complicated technology. So each manufacturer sh uh, is trying to do it in the uh, their own format, so there is a so-called war of format, war between format, and the analysis of uh, the digital uh, data is a separate story, and uh, that is why uh, they're going their own ways, and probably they will be united in DICOM. I think that is our uh, future. But the microphone is not on. So could you please tell us, uh, have you compared the existing means for the analysis of uh, images with open source products? Uh, m maybe in some time we will talk about the analysis of images. So we have the reports dedicated to that, but uh, potentially we have the opportunity uh, to create virtual slides and to analyze them in our specific area. This is a huge problem and a huge challenge for us when an opinion of a specific person that is a subjective opinion, uh, we will not deny this aspect that uh, viewing and uh, diagnostics is quite subjective and um, uh, digital uh, systems can help us, can open up new opportunities and uh, the secret of uh, diagnostics and deten uh, detection and we would like to take part uh, in it and our second report is dedicated to how we open up uh, the detection process for everybody. It is like we are opening a black box of our morphological diagnostics